Hi, Hira. This is Elise, your mother's friend. Do you remember me? Oh, hi, Miss Elise. Yes, of course. How can I not remember you? You're one of my mom's friends from university. I remember you used to stop by our house when my mom wasn't sick yet. Yeah, it's been a long time since I last met you. Almost 10 years, huh? I guess so. Wow, time flies really quickly. I can't believe it's been almost 10 years already. Me neither. I'm glad to see you again, even though we're in a sort of bad time. Yeah, I know. After such a long time, we ended up meeting each other again like this, at the funeral of my mom as well as your friend. I'm sorry. I should have invited you over sometimes. But I was too busy taking care of my mom, so... No, please don't say that. I totally understand. Well, Hira, I didn't have a chance to talk to you this morning. I don't know what to say, but I'm so sorry for what happened to your mom. She was a wonderful friend that I'll never forget. If you want to talk at any time, I'm right here for you, honey. Thank you so much for coming to the funeral today. My mom would be happy if she knew you were there for her. I can't believe that she's no longer with us. I was really shocked and sad to hear about her passing away yesterday. I'm just thinking of you and Liam. Why did this happen to you and your father? I'm so worried about him. Thank you, but I think he's still fine. Fine? Are you sure? Maybe. He didn't cry at all at the funeral, and I don't know why. I mean, of course he's a strong man, but he doesn't have to be macho all the time, right? Oh, poor Liam. He must be so miserable inside that he couldn't even cry. Or maybe he's just not the crying kind of guy. Do you think so? I'm not close to him. Actually, I've never seen him cry before. But it's his wife who passed away, not anyone else. There's got to be something, like his love for her, that gets him choked up at least. Can't he just shed one little tear for my mom? Ugh, I think he's all dead inside. Love? <laughs> I don't think so, honey. Huh? What's wrong? Why are you laughing? Well... I know they were spouses for over 20 years, but... But what? Nah, just forget what I said. Honey, sometimes the truth is so dark that you don't believe it's true. Your dad's going through a tough time. Just give him time to calm down. Yeah, what else can I do? He left right away after he delivered a sketchy eulogy at my mom's funeral this morning. I have no idea where he is now or what he's doing. Well, you don't have to worry about him, Hira. Actually, he's sitting next to me. We're on the way home. We'll be there in about 45 minutes. Wait, what are you talking about? Home? Which home? Do you mean my home? Of course. I guess now it's our home, honey. Huh? What do you mean by our? How come it's ours? Miss Elise, I know you were really kind to my family. And I appreciate it a lot, but that won't make us a family, you know? Oh no, hang on. Why is dad going with my mom's old friend after her funeral? Well, your father must be the person who will announce this news, but I think I should do it now because he seems to be too tired to explain. Let me introduce myself again, Hira. I'm Elise Smith, your new mother. Oh my god, what's going on here? Are you serious right now? Yes, totally. We can't get married today because, you know, his wife just died a day ago. But I'll be officially your mother very soon, Liam promised me. And you know what? I'm moving in with him today. Holy crap! Are you saying that my dad was cheating on my mom all this time? With you, her old friend? That's right. We also have a child together. Her name is Laura and she's six now. Moreover, she's living with us too. Oh no, there's no way. I'm not gonna believe you. You're telling me a joke and it's not funny at all. I need to talk to my dad right now. I know the truth is hard to accept, but you have no choice. 
Liam and I have been together for a few years and we love each other. Honey, you're feeling overwhelmed a little bit. That's okay. We'll be getting along well. Laura and I will replace her mom. No! It's not okay at all! How can I be okay with my dad bringing home his mistress and stepchild right after my mom's funeral? This is crazy! And what did you say? Replace my mom? Yeah, why not? I'm the woman who your father loves, not your mom. I'm beautiful, strong, and healthy. Not a sick and fragile woman like your mom. No doubt that Liam chose me over her. How dare you say that after attending her funeral a few hours ago, you witch! Oh, Hira, don't blame me. I didn't mean to say anything hurting you today. Right after your loss, but you made me do this. How dare you call your new mother a witch, you brat? Watch your manners or I tell your dad to kick you out of our house tonight. That's ridiculous. No one can kick me out of my mom's house, even my dad. Look how pitiful the way you're struggling. Well, that's not gonna work, little brat. That house now belongs to Liam, and he's always willing to do what I ask. You know what? Even when your mom was in the hospital waiting for surgery to remove a tumor, your dad left her alone and stayed with me because of my morning sickness. He must have loved me and Laura a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Was that the day when my mom had her first surgery seven years ago? He said his flight was canceled because of the bad weather, so he couldn't come. He came back three days after that. I thought it was because of the storm or something. Was it because of you? Well, I was so nice that I let him go earlier than I planned. I wanted him to stay longer. Even if he came back on time or not, your mom would still end up passing away. He didn't need to spend time on his dying wife, right? I guess he was acting as such a good husband to your mother. What a wholesome man he is. I still cannot believe any of this. I'll talk to him. My dad couldn't do that. Whatever. I've just decided that my daughter Laura will use your room from now on. You should pack her stuff immediately. Never! You can't do anything about this, Hira. <laughs> But fine, I'll show a little of my mercy by letting you stay at my house for a while. See you at home, my dear daughter. Dad! Where are you? I need to talk to you right now. It's about Elise. She just told me some crazy stories about you and her and your imaginary stepchild. I need you to tell me it's not true. Please answer me! Hera, I'm still so tired after your mom's funeral. Can we talk about this later? Dad, this is urgent! Somebody's making up stories about our family. That's unacceptable! I know she's lying, but I need your word. Tell me, do you and Elise have a thing? Honey, it's kind of complicated. No way! Why don't you just deny it? Are you really with her right now? Yes. Elise has just told me about the conversation with you. I'm sorry that everything went so bad like that. I can tell she's a good woman. She was just too upset about what you said to her. That's why she scolded you a little bit. Hera, you shouldn't have been rude to her. Wow. So there's really a thing between you two, huh? Honey, you're losing your temper. That's why I don't want to talk to you about this right now. It's not the right time to talk about me and Elise, especially after your mom's funeral. No, we have to talk about this right now! Are you well aware that mom just passed away a day ago? Well, I don't think so, Dad. Because you're bringing home your mistress and your stepchild. Is that true? Yes, they're living with us. Your new sister is Laura. She's only six, so I hope you'll be nice to her. It definitely took me by surprise, Dad. After all the good things Mom did for you, is this the way you treat her? Bringing home a lover only one day after her death, 
I cannot believe that while she was struggling with cancer, you were fooling around with your mistress and didn't care for her at all. Honey, you don't understand. Our marriage was a failure. I didn't love your mom anymore. Then get a divorce! That you didn't love her anymore couldn't be the reason for your love affair. Hera, I wanted to. I had thought of divorcing her a million times, but I put it off for your sake. I didn't want you to lose your family. I didn't want you to lose all faith in marriage either. You know what? I do now. Dad, don't consider me as an excuse for your irresponsibility. The truth is you had an affair while still in a marriage. I did take responsibility for this marriage. I was there for her second surgery. And I took care of your mom too. How many times? You were always busy with your work, which I now think might be your hidden little family. You stayed with her just for a while and then headed off to work immediately. There was only me who really cared for her. You weren't literally beside her on her last day at all. Okay, fine. I admit that, okay? So what? Your mom is dead. I can't do anything anymore. Wow, what did she do to deserve this? Dad, no matter what you did, just please don't bring anyone home today, okay? You should show her some respect. I'm sorry, I didn't plan for this. Elise's apartment contract just expired today and she had nowhere else to go. I couldn't let her and Laura suffer from the cold outside. Then I thought it would be fine to let her stay with us for a while because, you know... Because my mom passed away, so now there's a room in this house for her? Did you think so? Yes. She's your mom's friend anyway. Absolutely not. She's your mistress. You two even have a six-year-old child. Don't make up an excuse for her. Hera, I lost my wife, okay? I need someone to stay beside me and help me get through my grief. The only reason you let her get into this house is to fool around comfortably and free. That's all. Don't you dare say that to your father, Hera. Your mom is dead, so now I can do anything I want. Aha! You've been hiding your little mistress and stepchild all the time. Now, mom is not here anymore. So you've decided to bring your love affair to light? What an amazing husband you are, Dad. Elise was right. You are too spoiled. No matter what you say, I'm living with her and Laura in this house. That's been decided. What? No way. This is my mom's house. You're not allowed to let strangers live in her place. I won't allow this to happen. Your mom left this house to me, so I have the right to let anyone I want live in here. Hera, this place won't welcome you anymore. You better pack your stuff and get out of my house tomorrow, because your sister will take your room. Really? Are you fine with kicking me out? Have you made up your mind, Dad? Then there's no way to turn back. I'm sure I'm doing the right thing. I love Elise and Laura and I can't live without them. Hera, you're independent. You should go. All right, I got it. You're not my father anymore, and I'll cut all ties with you. I'm leaving for now. But remember, Mr. Smith, I'll be back as your worst nightmare. Hi, Hera, it's your mom. Why don't you text me or call me? Mom and Dad miss you a lot. Miss Elise? Don't call yourself my mom because you won't ever deserve it. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's been a year. Are you still mad at me and your dad? Jeez, it's not that a big deal. Wow, Miss Elise. You're still a sick troublemaker after a year. Don't you know that having a love affair is considered unethical in this world? If not, I'm glad to be the first person to open your narrow mind. How dare you? My husband will hear about this and make you apologize to me. Do I care? 
Oh no, not at all. I don't give a crap about what you and your husband think. Oh my god, Hira! You're pretending to be so strong, but I bet you're crying a river inside, huh? How pathetic you are. After all, you're the only person who lost both your family and your house, and I'm the lucky woman who's got a happy home. Oh, by the way, Laura wanted to talk to you for the room. She really loves it. Well, I'm having such a perfect life with Liam and Laura at our beautiful house. <laughs> How about you, Hira? Anything new? Are you texting me out of the blue just to gloat over this? Really? Yeah, I guess I was so bored and your name just popped up in my head. What a coincidence! You think of me right on my mom's death anniversary. Oops, I almost forgot it. I was so bad. Should I bring some flowers to her graveside this afternoon? Don't play around, because I'm sick of this. Take it easy, Hira. I just want to have a chit-chat with my stepdaughter. Because your mom's dead anniversary was coming, Liam had been thinking about you quite a lot. We genuinely want to know how you're doing, honey. I know you're not that good. I'm not going to fall for that fake face twice. What do you want from me? What are you talking about? I don't drink you or anything. I'm your father's new wife and all I want is a family reunion on Christmas Eve. A family reunion? Are you joking? Let me tell you something. A family reunion is for a family only. Miss Elise, you're not my family. Do I need to remind you of who you are, Mrs. Cheater? You brat! You're just like your mom when she was at university. You're both disgusting. Don't you dare talk about my mom that way. One more bad word about her and I'll make you pay for it. You can't stop me from saying what I think, Hira. Well, it sounds like you're stronger than you were one year ago. But you're still a poor abandoned kid. You can hurt no one. <laughs> if your mom knew how terrible you are, she would have taken her own life. You know what? I was vulnerable that day just because I lost my mom. Now I have nothing to lose thanks to you, so I'm not afraid. You destroyed my family and stole my house. I'm not going to let you get away with that. <laughs> you poor thing. You lost everything. You couldn't take it back that day. What can you even do now after a year? No, honey. It's a waste of time crying over spilled milk. You know, just move on with your lonely life. I'm taking good care of your father. No need to worry. No, you're wrong. I don't care about him. After all, the shitty things he did to me and my mom, I don't want to take back that kind of father. What I want is my house. I'm getting it back right now. Your house? Oh, you're so funny, Hira. You run away for a year. You didn't even dare to come back on Thanksgiving or your mother's death day. I wonder how you can get it back from another state. Hmm, maybe nothing. <laughs> Don't become complacent too soon. You should know that I've planned for my revenge for a year. Now it's coming. Huh? What are you going to do? What's your plan? I don't want to tell you. It won't be surprising if you've known. I hope what I said won't make you too restless. Well, I guess it's just the way you used to make me sad. But sorry, it doesn't work. <laughs> You'll soon find out if it works or not. What? What do you mean? Tell me. Well, just a warning for you. Miss Elise, brace yourself. Hera, why are there so many people coming to my house and packing my stuff? I know it must be you who's doing this kind of thing. Hi, Dad. Long time no talk. How are you? I hope you're ready to get a new house for your little family before Christmas. What are you talking about? New house? Why do I need a new house? Because I'm getting people to throw you all out of my house. What? This is my house. What you and your helpers are doing is illegal. I'm going to sue you for this. It is no longer your property, after all. This is my mom's house. Letting you and your lover stay at her house for a year is enough. 
I'm getting it back right now. You cannot. Your mother left this house for me after she died because I'm her husband. You're just taking it for granted, Dad. She never left it for you. I got her will, saying that she would let me inherit all of her property, including the house you're living in. There's no way she wouldn't make a will, because she was so worried about her sickness. You must be making this up. Her lawyer sent you the document about her will and probate court decision. You might not have checked it in your mailbox, right? You should now. It took me almost a year to complete all the necessary procedures. And finally, I've changed the deed of the house to include my name. Now, the house belongs to me. Wait, I'm checking on that. What? This is ridiculous. She didn't leave anything for me? Really? But I'm her husband. I'm the breadwinner in the family. The house was always in her name. She had inherited it from her parents before marrying you. You never own this house, no matter who you are. But when I married her, she promised she would get my name written on the deed of the house. Oh my God, she was a liar. It's you who's a liar here, because you promised to be faithful to her. But look at what you did. You cheated on her while she was sick. This doesn't make sense. Even if she had a will, why didn't she put my name on it? Her lawyer said that she did consider adding your name to her will, but then she found out you were cheating on her, and she changed her mind. Did she know? That's impossible. I tried really hard to hide Elise and Laura from her. She wasn't suspicious at all. The truth will be out. My mom had found out about your double life and what you were getting up to behind her back. But she chose not to mess you up. Why did she do that? Just to play me around? Or was it because she loved me too much? No, it's not because of you. It's because of me. She only wanted to enjoy her last years with me and keep a beautiful image of a happy family in my memory. I wish she hadn't hidden the truth from me and suffered all alone. Did you know that she tried her best to put in a good word for you with me till her very last moment? Oh, my poor mom. How could I know that? Of course you couldn't. I forgot that you weren't at the hospital when she was on the brink of death. Jeez, I don't need her good words. I just need her house. If she was that strong, she should have added my name to her will. Don't you feel ashamed of yourself? You're such a greedy, dirty, sick pervert. It's so disgusting to have a father like you. Get out of my house. You're not welcome here. You wish. I'm not leaving. This is my house. I don't believe a word you said. You're a liar like your dead mother. I'll sue you for making this up and for getting into my house without permission. Sue me? I'm the owner of the house, so I have the right to kick you out. You better leave before I call the police to arrest you. How dare you call the police to arrest your father? Why not? You're not my family. I cut all ties with you, remember? Now you're just a man who's living illegally in my house. I can't let you get away with that. I'll hire a lawyer to sue you for faking the document and get my house back. Whatever you do, it won't bother me. Just so you know that I'll be home in about 45 minutes. So you and your mistress with your child should leave my house before that. Or else, I'll file an eviction lawsuit against you. You should know that I don't mind getting the court involved. You brat. I'll get back to you very soon. Well... What you should do now is find a place to live, not mess around with me. Now get out of my life! After a few hours, they still refused to leave. I knew in advance. That's why I called the police to arrest Miss Elise for breaking into my house. She's not my family, so she had no right to stay at my house. When I arrived home, she ran to me and begged me to cancel my report. But of course, I denied it. She then had to pay for what she did to me and my mom. 
Mr. Liam was even worse. He tried to sue me for faking the will and document, as he had said, but couldn't prove that. He wasted a lot of money on hiring a good lawyer to take back the ownership of the house, but he got nothing because my ownership was authorized and confirmed. Now I'm living in the house my mom left for me. Of course, I have other thoughts about marriage after all the things Mr. Liam and Miss Elise did to my mom. But I'll definitely build a happy family for myself as that's my mom's last wish.